Hey there everyone, John Holbrook here with Watch Talk Forums and I'm coming to you today with another strap review. This time I've got a couple of examples of straps from Kane Heritage. Now this review, uh, this video review will be a supplement to my written photo review uh, that can be found uh, at Watch Talk Forums and I will provide a link to that uh, in the description box so if you're coming across this video on YouTube and haven't written uh, haven't seen the written video review I would recommend you go read that first because it's got a lot of details and a lot of information uh, that won't be contained here in uh, the video review uh, this is uh, just to kind of give you some uh, quick uh, overall impressions uh, of these uh, these fantastic straps and to kind of give you a little bit different uh, perspective to help you make your buying decision than what can be shown in a photograph. Uh, so with that I've got these straps uh, on a couple of my LoomTech watches. Uh, this is of course uh, the M27 and this is the V1. Uh, this is a, a 24 millimeter strap uh, for the lugs, uh, the lug size on the, the M27. Uh, the V1 has 22 millimeter lugs, so this is a 22 millimeter strap. Uh, both of these have uh, uh, pre-V buckles. Uh, when you order uh, a strap from Kane Heritage, you've got a lot of different strap or, uh, buckle choices uh, in terms of uh, uh, both the type and, and the finish. Uh, so uh, you can really uh, get a custom, uh, a custom type strap to your specifications. Uh, really impressed with these straps. Uh, the quality is quite high. You can you can see on this strap that it's very thick uh, uh, and you know reasonably uh, uh, supple and pliable as well for a strap of this thickness. This 22 millimeter strap here that's love that uh, kind of chocolate brown uh, stitching on on that black that's really that's really nice and uh, you can see uh, that the quality is the same on the back side um, genuine leather of course it's got the cane heritage hallmark on the on the tip as well as uh, on the uh, on the buckle so really nice um, <clears throat> also what's nice about these buckles is uh, they are removable. Uh, hopefully you can see that uh, that screw there. Uh, you can uh, take a small screwdriver, a jeweler screwdriver, and uh, very easily remove this buckle. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to put this strap, you know, on a different watch, maybe one that had a PVD or DLC coating and was black, I could take this buckle off and put a black buckle on that would uh, match the case. So really, really like that. Uh, the ability to change out the buckles again just gives you more options for a more customized uh, look and feel. Uh, the stitching work is, is excellent on this. These are very very high quality straps at what I would call kind of a mid-tier price. <clears throat> uh, to me, you know, I've seen some premium straps out there that uh, that go for you know two hundred uh, two hundred dollars and above. And uh, you, you know, in, in most cases, they're they're well worth it in terms of the material and the workmanship. And these are very comparable straps to some of the best that I've seen uh, at any price point, and uh, uh, you know, are are more you know at a mere mid tier price. Most of uh, Kane Heritage straps, their leather straps, fall between eighty and about a hundred dollars, uh, I believe. Both of these are 89 each on their website. The neat thing is that if you are a member of the Watch Talk Forums community, uh, you can get these straps at a considerable discount. 17% uh, off the list price uh, when you place your order. You just need to make sure you mention in your email your Watch Talk Forums screen name and mention the 17% off discount. And when you place your order, uh, you not only get the great price, but you also get a nice gift. Uh, with each order, Kane Heritage will send you uh, one of these really nice travel cases for a watch. Um, really a complete package. Let me kind of show you this. 
Um, with the travel case comes a separate uh, a separate case that you can put uh, uh, an extra strap in and a, and a changing tool really if you wanted to. So you just put your uh, put your watch that you're going to take on your trip in here. You can put an extra set of straps to change into, maybe a rubber strap if you're going to do some water sports on your trip. Um, you know, you could also put in your changing tool in here, like I've done. And you're ready for your trip. So I think that's uh, I think that's a really nice. Uh, you know, both of these are leather. They're very high quality. Uh, that's something I would certainly pay for uh, uh, by themselves. Uh, as as many of my uh, uh, my members in the Watchdog Forum community know, I travel quite a bit, and I have already used these a couple of times, and have been very very pleased and impressed with how they work. Uh, when I've used them when I travel, so uh, uh, you know these are very nice on their own, and and uh, I was really impressed. Uh, a really nice uh, free gift with the purchase of any uh, Kane Heritage uh, strap as a Watchdog Forums community member. Uh, let me go ahead and put these watches on so you can see how these straps look when they're worn on the wrist. Okay. Here is the 24 millimeter strap uh, from Kane Heritage on uh, my M27, and really like that. You know, one of the things if you'll go to their website and look at the the selection that they have to offer, they have an incredible amount of straps to offer in lots of unique colors, unique stitching combinations. Uh, <coughs> Really, you can you can uh, find something for uh, for every taste uh, and every you know with just about any option that you're looking for. Very very complete offerings. Really really impressed with their website and uh, you know the depth of a uh, variety that they that they have to offer. So again, this is a really comfortable strap. Pretty unique uh, color. Um, I've never seen one quite that shade before with that kind of texture and I think the black stitching looks really nice with that. And again this is a strap that I could very easily put on uh, you know one of my black case uh, 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 watches and put a black uh, buckle on there as well. So uh, really nice. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the other watch and see how that looks. Okay, here's my Lumtech V1 with this uh, 22 millimeter strap from Kane Heritage. And again, the V1 is kind of a neat watch in that you can dress it up or down pretty easily. And uh, uh, this this strap, I think, gives it kind of a nice sporty, uh, casual feel. Really like that combination, uh, the strap color with the stitching color nice texture can very very comfortable um, always love a preview buckle for comfort that's nice uh, these straps do come uh, with tubes as well uh, so uh, again kind of a quality of uh, hallmark quality if you want to use those tubes you can depending on the watch you use them with uh, Kane Heritage has kind of become real well known within the Panerai community um, but uh, they certainly make straps that are appropriate for many other watches, as I've shown with these Lumtex. Um, and they've got offerings in a variety of, uh, of widths to accommodate uh, the lug sizes of many different manufacturers. So here's just a little footage of, uh, of how the strap looks. Uh, both of these straps look when, when worn on the wrist. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, got many more coming in the future, watch reviews, strap reviews, uh, and also some uh, other neat gear that uh, guys tend to like. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe, and uh, uh, we hope to see you on Watch Talk forums real soon. Uh, take care, God bless, we'll see you in the next video.